some big changes are on the way that could affect you and your family as this pandemic continues. Eyewitnesses reporter Roger Suzanne is live now outside of CVS Pharmacy in Bristol. One of the big changes is faster treatment, Roger. So break this down for us. <laughs> yeah, good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Irene. This is pretty cool. Folks with COVID-19 are going to be able to kind of hit the fast forward button on their treatment. I'm talking minutes after they test positive. Here's how it's going to work. At a thousand different CVS and Walgreens locations, folks are going to be able to simply walk through the front door and get a COVID-19 test. Now, if they test positive, a pharmacist will then give them antiviral medicine right there on the spot for free. But the test to treat initiative, as it's called, is just one new important COVID tidbit that is coming down the pike. The first update is Pfizer says you also might need another booster shot. The company CEO says the third dose is effective at preventing deaths and hospitalization, but it does appear to wane over time. Experts are working on a potential timeline right now. And if you have young children, listen up to this next update. Pfizer says it hopes to have a COVID-19 treatment available for most kids before they head back to school this fall. It would be a version of its antiviral pill Paxlovid. Right now, that pill is approved, but only for those 12 or older who are at high risk of serious infection. But if your kids are younger than five, they might actually be eligible to receive this treatment before the summer. If it works, if the answer will do their utmost to review them fast. So, and we will be ready with manufacturing. One other final update is that former President Barack Obama did test positive for COVID-19 recently. Experts say it's just another reminder that everyone has to take smart steps to stay safe during the pandemic. Reporting live in Bristol this morning, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.